Investigators continue to search for the motive behind yesterday's deadly attack in Nice, France. And a Kentucky connection. At least two Kentuckians were in France during yesterday's attacks. We have the latest on the attack and the ongoing investigation. It's Friday, and Friday night is a big night for movies. Coming up, we'll take you to Powell County and show you how one drive-in movie theater is trying to just be open tonight. This is WKYT News at 5. Good afternoon. We continue to track a breaking international story right now. There are reports a military coup is underway in the country of Turkey. Right now, we are getting our first video in from Ankara, the Turkish capital. This is from State TV in Turkey. There is an increased military presence in Ankara with jets flying overhead in the tanks at the capital's airport. The Associated Press is now reporting that a news release from the Turkish military says they have fully seized control of the country. We will have updates on WK. KYT.com. And of course, Scott Pelley will have the very latest on the CBS Evening News at 6.30. We're also learning more this afternoon about the man behind the deadly terrorist attack in Nice, France. 84 people were killed, including at least two Americans, when a driver slammed into crowds with a truck. More than 200 others were injured. 25 people remain on life support. CBS's Jonathan Vigilotti is in Nice with our top story at 5. Police towed away the truck that brought terror to the streets of Nice. I've seen one guy actually running, sobbing, crying. Uh, we've seen people holding babies, screaming. The truck plowed through hundreds of pedestrians who had gathered to watch the Bastille Day fireworks on the city's main promenade. Police killed the driver after he started shooting at them. He was trying to shoot the, the police to defend himself. And uh, the police started shooting, and at that time, they pushed me away. CBS News has confirmed the man behind the wheel was Mohamed Lawij Bolel, a 31 year old French citizen born in Tunisia. He was not on any terror watch list and only had small run ins with police, including a road rage conviction. Neighbors say the father of three was not a religious man and that he was getting divorced and was recently fired from his job. French President Francois Hollande said dozens of people are in critical condition. Among the victims, an American father and son, 51 year old Sean Copeland and 11 year old Brody from the Austin, Texas area. The mile long section of the promenade where the attack happened is closed and will likely remain shut down into Saturday. President Obama spoke about the deadly attack from the White House. It's not just the United States of America, but the entire world that stands in solidarity uh, with the people of France during this difficult time. There will be vigils and rallies held throughout the weekend as France marks three days of national mourning beginning tomorrow. Jonathan Migliotti, CBS News, Nice, France. Three students at the University of California, Berkeley, were injured in the attack. A fourth student is still missing. We are also learning that at least two people from Kentucky were in Nice at the time of that attack. State Representative Jim Duplass of Elizabethtown says his parents are visiting the French Riviera for his father's birthday. We talked to the state representative today. Our Kristen Kennedy joins us at the live desk with the details. Well, Representative Jim Duplessis had a hard time getting in touch with his parents right after that attack. They were in Nice last night when investigators say a terrorist drove a truck full of explosives up onto a sidewalk. The driver killed more than 80 people, including 51 year old Sean Copeland. Copeland worked for Lexmark out of Texas. Lexmark released a statement today saying, in part, our hearts go out to Sean and his family and for everyone who is suffering in France and elsewhere from this senseless, violent act. Copeland was vacationing with his family at the time of the attack. Representative Jim Duplessis says his parents were vacationing as well. I figured mom and dad being 81 and 78 years old, they probably weren't out in the crowd, probably weren't gallivanting around. I'm guessing they're asleep. Turns out that is what it was. We got a text about one, eh, about one o'clock this morning saying, yeah, we're uh, yeah, everything's okay. Duplessis says 15 years ago, his parents were in New York City during the 9 11 terrorist attack. At the live desk, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. And Sean Copeland's 11 year old son also died in the massacre. Uh, we will continue to track the latest out of France as more details come out on WKYT.com and the WKYT News app. You can download it for free in the app or Google Play stores.
Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump now confirms Mike Pence is his choice for vice president. Trump tweeted earlier today that the Indiana governor would be his running mate. Sources confirmed the selection yesterday. Trump had planned to officially make the announcement at a news conference today, but it was canceled after the attack in France. Trump says he and Pence will hold a news conference tomorrow morning. Deputies in Boyle County are investigating a crash that killed a teenager. The sheriff's office says 19 year old John Knight was crossing the road at the intersection of U.S. 127 and Shelby Street in Junction City when he was hit. Knight was taken to a nearby hospital where he died. And deputies say Knight was with two other people. As of now, no charges have been filed, but deputies are still trying to figure out what happened moments before the crash. There, there's conflicting reports from witnesses as to who had right away. Deputies are still investigating at this time. Investigators do say the area where the crash happened is poorly lit, which could have been a factor in what happened. The tropical feel continues, and another line of storms is moving into the state. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has an early look at your forecast as we head into our weekend. Chris? Yeah, a lot of the storms that are out there really now packing a punch as they blow towards central Kentucky. Let's get after it and show you what we are tracking. And we're looking toward that northern sky and starting to pick up on this live sky cam the tops of some of those thunderstorms. You can see those in the distance. Look toward the bottom of your screen. Notice how the trees are beginning to sway. That is a strong south westerly wind uh, kind of pulling some juice into those storms. Currently 89 Lexington humidity at 45%, so it feels a little hotter than that. Check out your Defender radar network. Those thunderstorms in the northern Kentucky are indeed packing heavy rain and a lot of lightning. Severe thunderstorm warning about to expire into uh, far northern Kentucky, just to the south of the Covington area, parts of Campbell and Kenton County. Strongest storm right now, actually a couple of them, northern parts of Owen County, northern Grant County. Those will continue to roll toward the east and the northeast. Back to the southwest, southern parts of Indiana, that's where we start to see the action kicking back into high gear. Put everything into motion. Look at that line coming together over the past couple of hours. The line itself is dropping in from the north. The individual thunderstorms are going from southwest to northeast. All of that is ahead of a cold front. So over the next one to two hours, parts of the bluegrass region may get in on some booming storms. We'll continue to track those. And of course, the weekend forecast when I get back in a few. Chris, thank you. Strong storms yesterday have owners of a Powell County drive in movie theater doing a lot of cleanup. The Mountain View drive in has been open since 1957. As WKYT's Mike Linden reports, last night was the first time the drive in has had some kind of storm damage. The Mountain View drive in in Stanton has been open since 1957. Aside from minor damage to the screen over the years, owners say they've gotten lucky until last night. We didn't even hear the sound. Someone on the parkway heard it and saw it. Thunderstorms packing strong wind gusts Thursday night caused major damage to the drive-in's concession stand and projector room. About a third of the roof was just folded back on top of the rest of it. Uh, the front corner post over there is laying over here now. I'm standing inside the projector room, which, as you can see, no longer has a roof. That means that this room was rained on for several hours yesterday. It's for that reason that any of the film inside this room will no longer work. But one thing that owners are still holding out hope for is the projector itself. They say they'll have to wait for power to be restored to the building to see if their crown jewel still works. You can't run a movie if you don't have a projector. Crews still have plenty of work to repair the concession stand. It's a mess. It really is. It was mangled. Owners say they've learned a valuable lesson when dealing with Mother Nature. You're out of control. You have no control over what happened. In Powell County, Mike Linden, WKYT. And the owners say the secondary screen was not damaged by the storms and will be open tonight at sundown. Deputies are searching for a couple after they found several neglected dogs at a home. Our county by county coverage begins in Floyd County. Deputies say they were serving an eviction notice when they found three dogs, one of them dead. Deputies were able to take one of the dogs to the shelter for treatment, but the other dog got away and they're still trying to find it. They say a woman and her children were living in the home but have been gone for some time. The condition that the trailer was in, it's, it appears to have been that way for a while. Um, the neighbors said that they had just moved out a couple days ago, uh, so uh, they've had their children in that environment, and that's what scares us. 
Deputies are working to file animal cruelty charges. Anyone with information on where the couple might be is asked to contact the Floyd County Sheriff's Office. In Breathitt County, a vote today to stop any new pain clinics from opening in the county. The fiscal court voted unanimously to adopt the ordinance that would ban any new pain, suboxone, or methadone clinics from opening in Breathitt County. They hope that by voting against new clinics, they can attempt to decrease the number of violent crimes and overdoses in the county. And in Franklin County, police are asking people living in one neighborhood to check their vehicles for some missing items. Police say they've arrested some juveniles and recovered several stolen items they believe were taken from cars in the Indian Hills and Schenkel Lane areas. If you notice anything missing from your vehicle, contact the Franklin County Police Department. Are you looking for something fun to do in Lexington this weekend? Well, there is no shortage of events. We'll have details coming up in about 10 minutes. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking and overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. Don't miss Ashley Home Store's sale and clearance event. Save up to 70% off store-wide, plus pay no interest for up to three years. This plush sofa is only $3.99. The biggest inventory blowout of the summer is going on now. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Welcome. It's me, the Extra Crispy Colonel. My Extra Crispy $20 Philip feeds a family of four. It's crunchy, juicy, and oh, so tasty. KFC, it's Extra Crispy Good. At Baptist Health, we want you to know the facts. Visit BaptistHealthTalks.com to view a video of neonatologist Tanya Reed and learn more about our new North Tower. Baptist Health Lexington. Be a healthier you. The legends take on the Asheville Tourist on Lexington Clinic Night. The fun begins at 5.30 p.m. with another round of fireworks after the game. Check out LexingtonLegends.com for all the tickets, promos, and stash-tastic fun you can have at a Legends game. This is the mom biz, and ladies, it's showtime. You've got soccer practice, swim meets, drum lessons, play dates, and all the other stuff that keeps your family humming. But you know what matters? The healthy stuff. Full tummies. That's why you've got Lando Frost Premium Lunch Meat, a simple, protein-packed, good form lunch. And that's how you get a mom groove. Groove with me now. Hey. Lando Frost, they're a family brand. You're a family. See what I'm getting at? I like when a customer comes in and knows me by name and comes and finds me. I love my customers because they're happy to see me. They, they come in, they know me. They are looking for me. We're not so focused on our task, we're focused on each other. I love it when customers tell us that they enjoy the friendly atmosphere. I think just walking through the store and appreciating everybody and letting them know that I'm happy they're here. If I can make somebody's day, it makes my day. New signature brisket plates at Sonny's Barbecue. Smoked brisket chopped up on our brisket mac starting at $9.99 or paired with ribs or pork for a limited time. Sonny's Barbecue, local pit masters since 68. Don't miss Ashley Home Store's sale and clearance event. Save up to 70% off store-wide, plus pay no interest for up to three years. This plush sofa is only $3.99. The biggest inventory blowout of the summer is going on now. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Dealing with a windy and a very steamy day out there across central and eastern Kentucky. Happy Friday, by the way. It's after 5 o'clock. It's the weekend here in the Bluegrass State. Let's show you what's going on as a line of thunderstorms gets ready to blow in to kick off that weekend. A lot of mid and upper 80s out there. Central Kentucky, hey, southeastern Kentucky, low and mid 80s. You had a lot of rain over the past few days. Wet ground. Green, lush vegetation out there. Heat has a very tough time taking control when the ground is this wet, when everything is this green in the bluegrass state. It's been that way now. This is the fourth summer in a row we've been dealing with this. All right, let's talk about some more rain coming on into town. Starting to see on our sky cams on the northwestern horizons here. Look toward E Town and north. Louisville got some thunderstorms nearby. Lexington, you can see to our north, thunderstorms beginning to bubble up. Moorhead Jackson in better shape, but look at what we are finding. On that Defender radar network, very intense line of thunderstorms, packing a lot of lightning, a lot of heavy rain, 
and it is dropping in from northwest to southeast. Individual thunderstorms are racing from southwest to northeast, but the line itself is dropping toward the south. So, hello, Harrison County. Hello, Scott County. Thunderstorms will be in there in, oh, let's say 35 minutes to an hour, give or take a little bit. That line extends back to the northwest of the Louisville area. Skies are darkening there. And then the line goes all the way back into southern parts of Indiana, right on top of Henderson, Owensboro, into Evansville. And you see the movement dropping in from the north. And that may have a nice little uh, gust of wind out ahead of that main line. Cold front is out there. That's what is promoting those thunderstorms to kick off out ahead of that. Look at all the sunshine today. Atmosphere just bubbling up and ready to rock and roll with some thunderstorms. How about rain chances, storm chances over the next week? Well, Weekend looks a whole lot better. We get into late Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Storm chances will go up a little bit. Then we drop those toward the end of next week. Overall, it's good to see a little green on that. So a storm or two, a storm or two possible tomorrow in the south. I've talked about storms way too many times. Sunday, mostly sunny. Normal July temperatures. Then into Monday, it's a steamy day. And by evening, we may see a few thunderstorms that begin to develop across the area. But here's this line this evening on the hour by hour forecast that will drop in and decrease after sunset. End of the day tomorrow, clouds in the morning. And look what happens. Look at what a close call we have in the central Kentucky. Sun to the north, chance for a shower, thunderstorm to the south and southeast from later Saturday into Sunday. Everybody gets in on much better. Air. I think we hit 90, if not low 90s, ahead of another front on Monday before some boomers really sweep in here. Could be talking about some strong storms again Monday night into Tuesday. Heat still, I think, is going to build in late next week. Gosh, where have I heard all of this before? It's repetitive, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, huh? very repetitive. Yeah. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks, we'll, we'll mix it up. Good okay. deal. Three collisions, well, actually a total of four crashes in the city right now, including a collision on 3rd at Eastern. That was a little close to downtown. There's also a crash on uh, Winchester Road near Patch and Wilkes. It has one lane of outbound Winchester blocked. They're still clearing the one at Palomar Center and Wellington and Wilson Downing and Lansdowne. Drive times this afternoon to Versailles, about 12 minutes to Paris. We're looking at 22, and Winchester's taking about 23 minutes from Lexington. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Don. A Western Kentucky man is being honored in the new Ghostbusters reboot coming out this weekend. Details on that after the break. A lawsuit has been filed against the landfill in Estill County where radioactive materials were illegally dumped sometime last year. The details coming up on WKYT News at 530. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts, now available on the WKYT News app. $5 Sonic Boombox gives you a lot for $5. Yeah, and Abraham Lincoln would be really proud of this. Right. Oh, because he's on the $5 bill. That's exactly where I was going with that, actually. Yeah. yeah. And he was an honest guy, and this is an honest deal. Yeah. And he created the Boombox. Oh, no. You were so close. Yeah. My fellow countrymen, are you ready to get funky? Play. Try the Loaded Cheddar Dogs, part of the new $5 Sonic Boombox, featuring a hot dog, junior cheeseburger, side, and a drink. This is how you Sonic. Hey, how are you? Good. Whoa, I just got your text. Yeah, that says checkout is great. With low prices and weekly deals, saving is so easy at Kroger. Come in and cross more off your list for less. Just look for the tags and save. Great food, low prices at Kroger. What's your rap for, for? It's for getting places you could never get to before. It's for going out of the town in style. It's for your honeydew list. It's for 34 MPG in the new RAV4 Hybrid. How far will you take it? The 2016 Toyota RAV4 with available all-wheel drive and more technology and safety features. Lease a RAV4 LE now for just $199 a month or this RAV4 Hybrid for only $229 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Unclaim freight notice this weekend at American Freight. Over 1,000 truckloads of living room furniture, seven piece living room groups that include a sofa, love seat, coffee table, two end tables, and two designer lamps. You get all seven pieces from only $398 complete. Free lay weight, same day delivery. Come to the Looney Docks this weekend only at American Freight in Lexington, 272 West New Circle Road, next to Walmart, across from Jalapenos. Phone 226 0008.
Variety Live and the Lexington Theater Company present Mary Poppins, one weekend only, July 14th through 17th, at the Lexington Opera House. Experience the magic of Mary Poppins. For tickets and information, LexingtonOperaHouse.com. The Don Franklin Family of Dealerships, where respect and trust come standard. WKYT is putting the new back in late news with newer stories and more updates. So there's less repetition, which means no wasted time. WKYT News at 11. Newer, fresher, worth staying up for. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Summer is not even a month old yet, and people have more than enough to keep them busy. Our Jim Caldwell is at one of those events right now. He is at Lakeside Live, where they are getting ready for another performance tonight. Hi, Jim. And we are getting ready for a fantastic time. You are right, guys. It is going to be one heck of a night out here. The sun's starting to set. We're cooling things down a little bit, so we're certainly getting in the mood. We've got a reggae band coming up, Dub Club. They'll be on the stage at 6 o'clock. Now, obviously, nobody's up there right now. They're still getting everything nice and ready, but it should be a, an excellent time. But the thing is, this isn't the only hot thing going on in town. If it's good old-fashioned family fun that you are after, you're going to find it at the Bluegrass Fair. That's going on at the Masterson Station Park this weekend. It runs all the way through Sunday. More than 130 antique and future classic cars will be on display at Keeneland for the Concours de Elegance. You can see those from 9 a.m. to 4.30 each day. But maybe fun in the sun isn't what you're after. I'm practically you can still see a few more showings of Mary Poppins at the Lexington Opera House. And Lexington Burger Week will wrap up this weekend. You will still find those delicious special $5 burgers at many Lexington restaurants. And I'll tell you what, there's a whole lot more going on uh, anywhere you go here in, in Lexington and Central Kentucky, period, Southern Kentucky and Eastern Kentucky as well. But here at Lakeside Live, we're getting ready, as I said, for a dub love coming up here in just a little bit. It's a reggae band, and they're going to be really entertaining us here very soon, guys. So I'm in the shade, out of the sun. Thanks, Chris Bailey, for that, at least for now. Live here in Lexington, I'm WKYT meteorologist Jim Caldwell. All right, stay cool out there, and you out there can find a list of the events going on in Lexington this weekend online. Just head over to WKYT.com. If you're going to see the new Ghostbusters movie this weekend, you'll notice a tribute to a Western Kentucky man in the end credits. Ryan Kemp died in a crash in Boyle County last October. He was the CEO and chairman of the Western Kentucky Ghostbusters Club. And friends say Kemp dedicated his life to being a Ghostbusters super fan. Adam Swartz uh, with AL.com says that fans of the franchise petitioned the director to pay tribute to Kemp in their reboot, and they got their wish. So if you go see the movie this weekend, you now have a reason to read the credits. The movie, movie opened, by the way, in theaters today. And an evening out turned dramatic for one Meade County couple when they return home to find a burglar in their home. The dramatic details coming up on WKYT News at 530. Energize your drive with Rockstar Energy Drink. How Southerners say good morning. Get a freshly prepared breakfast from McDonald's Kitchens. Say hello to all day breakfast with a mouthwatering biscuit and gravy. Mr. Lova Lova. Lova. Mm. Mr. Lova Lova. <laughs> she called me Mr. Boombox. Fantastic, put me on me box, she says I'm uh, Mr. Romantic. I'm a fantastic, put me on me box, she says uh, You live life your way. Smooth. We can help you retire your way too. Financial guidance while you're mastering life. From Chase, so you can. One of the toughest decisions a family has to make is to place the loved one in a nursing home. When you make that decision, you pay for and should expect professional loving care. 
Garcia, Artiglare, and Medby is devoted to protecting the rights of the elderly. If your loved one has been the victim of falls, broken bones, bed sores, dehydration, infection, or malnutrition, or if you suspect nursing home neglect or abuse of your loved one, call Garcia, Artiglare, and Medby today at 1-844-738-6786. We'd like to help. Remember the feeling you got? Improvement. When you did something you didn't know you could do? E-M-E-N-T. Improvement. Correct. Get that feeling again with a degree from Indiana Wesleyan University. You've made so much improvement. You just might yes. surprise yourself with what you can accomplish. Visit IWULexington.com to explore our courses. IWU. Anything is possible. Sharks surround you, and what you see has rarely been seen. Where you can touch the mightiest of creatures, and families explore together. Discover the wonder at Newport Aquarium. See, touch, explore, together. Now your kids can discover the wonder for free. Two kids get in free with each adult paying full price Sunday through Friday after four. Tickets available online only at NewportAquarium.com. How Southerners say good morning. Get a freshly prepared breakfast from McDonald's Kitchens. Say hello to all-day breakfast with a mouth-watering biscuit and gravy. It is time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. Buying a light bulb is not so simple anymore. There are new types and new technology. Lisa Balick reports. CFL, LED, halogen, whatever happened to just light bulbs? We answer so many questions about bulbs every time somebody comes in because they're so confused. Globe lighting expert Tabitha Hilton tells me one big change is this. Watts are out. Lumens are in. You want to look at the lumens. So this says 43 watts, but this is 750 lumens. So this is a 60 watt equivalent. There are three main types of bulbs now. Halogen, which still has that filament inside, compact fluorescents or CFLs, and LEDs, light emitting diodes with a tiny computer chip producing the light. The higher the color temperature, the whiter the light. CFLs and LED bulbs cost several dollars more than a traditional bulb, but they're energy efficient and last a lot longer. Here's something else to watch out for, the dimmer switches. What you have on the wall at home may not be compatible with the new bulbs. You'll have to pull it apart and check. CFL bulbs are not dimmable, LEDs are. It's just another thing to consider. Cost of the bulb, cost of the replacement of the bulbs, and the energy that you're saving throughout the year. Here's a tip, there are lighting facts now on every bulb box, which makes answering all these questions a lot easier. Lisa Balick for CBS News, Portland, Oregon. And something else to think about, CFL bulbs contain mercury and have to be recycled. Companies stopped making incandescent bulbs in 2014. If you use Pandora, you should probably change your password. The popular internet radio service says they weren't hacked, but their security team found Pandora usernames in data that had been stolen from another service. The company says if you routinely use the same passwords, you should probably change it to be safe. Tesla says it has no plans to disable its autopilot system. The company CEO, Elon Musk, says the automaker will instead focus on educating customers on how the system works. This comes after a deadly crash in May that involved one of the company's cars that was using the autopilot function. 
Federal safety investigators are still trying to figure out why the autopilot failed to detect a tractor trailer in the crash. And being overweight could cost you your life. Researchers found that overweight people could lose a year of their lives because of the extra weight. Moderately overweight people could lose up to three, and severely obese people could die as many as eight years earlier. The study also found that being obese is far more dangerous for men than it is for women. Now, here's what's coming up for you at 5 30.